I think everybody's weird. We should all celebrate our individuality and not be embarrassed or ashamed of it. Just keep moving forward and don't give a shit about what anybody thinks. Do what you have to do, for you. I don't think anybody's necessarily ready for death. You can only hope that when it approaches, you feel like you've said what you wanted to say. Nobody wants to go out in mid-sentence. If there's any message, it is ultimately that it's okay to be different, that it's good to be different, that we should question ourselves before we pass judgment on someone who looks different, behaves different, talks different, is a different color. I think the thing to do is to enjoy the ride while you're on it. Growing old is unavoidable, but never growing up is possible. I believe you can retain certain things from your childhood if you protect them certain traits, certain places where you don't let the world go. People say I make strange choices, but they are not strange for me. My sickness is that I'm fascinated by human behavior, by what's underneath the surface, by the world's inside people. I like the challenge of trying different things and wondering whether it's going to work or whether I'm going to fall flat on my face. Do what you really want to do. Don't play their game. Don't do what they want. Find your own way. Laugh as much as you breathe and love as long as you live. If someone were to harm my family, or a friend or somebody I love, I would eat them. I might end up in jail for 500 years, but I would eat them. If you love two people at the same time, choose the second. Because if you really loved the first one, you wouldn't have fallen for the second. The only creatures that are evolved enough to convey pure love are dogs and infants. There are four questions of value in life. What is sacred? Of what is the spirit made? What is worth living for? And what is worth dying for? The answer to each is the same. Only love. Love is not blind. It simply enables one to see things others fail to see. You grow up a bit damaged or broken then you have some success, but you don't know how to feel good about the work you're doing or the life you're leading. I've never felt particularly ambitious or driven, that's for sure, although I like to create stuff, whether it's a little doodle, a drawing, a small painting, or a movie, or a piece of music, so I suppose I'm driven by that. Everything I've done has felt very natural, and it's happened because it's happened. I don't think it's anything you ever get used to. For many years, I could never sort of put my name in the same sort of category as the word famous, or anything like that. And I just found it very uncomfortable, if you get used to it, then something must be wrong. One day the people that didn't believe in you will tell everyone how they met you. Tomorrow it'll all be over, then I'll have to go back to selling pens again. As a teenager, I was so insecure. I was the type of guy that never fitted in because he never dared to choose. I was convinced I had absolutely no talent at all for nothing, and that thought took away all my ambition too. When I see someone who just follows their dream and succeeds, and just does basically what they want to do, and doesn't have to answer to anyone, obviously not harming anyone, that's great.
Success doesn't change you, it reveals you. There's a drive in me that won't allow me to do certain things that are easy. It's only a bad day, not a bad life. You can close your eyes to the things you don't want to see, but you can't close your heart to the things you don't want to feel. We're all damaged in our own way. Nobody's perfect. I think we're all somewhat screwy. Every single one of us. When kids hit one year old, it's like hanging out with a miniature drunk. You have to hold on to them. They bump into things. They laugh and cry, they urinate, they vomit. There comes a time when a good man must wear a mask. Not all treasure is silver and gold, mate. People cry, not because they are weak. It's because they've been strong for too long. I'm an old-fashioned guy. I want to be an old man with a beer belly sitting on a porch, looking at a lake or something. I have this fear of clowns, so I think that if I surround myself with them, it will ward off all evil. Life's pretty good, and why wouldn't it be? I'm a pirate, after all. I think everybody's nuts.